Hey everybody, last time we were stuck in the southern Mongolian winter. This time we are stuck in the Canadian forest. Oh, would you look at this? This Canadian forest, oh, there's a pipe. Maybe some Native Americans put it there when they landed here. I've been out here about four days. All I have is this fucking spoon. I've been climbing branches. I might. I might be able to step on this branch. Ow! Oh. oh, never mind. Those branches aren't very stable. I'm just gonna keep walking through the Canadian forest. See what we can find. It's fucking buggy out here. You know how the Canadian forest is. That's kind of the only reason I like Southern Mongolia. I'm kind of hungry. And when you're hungry, now I'm gonna tell you guys how you can eat good in the redwood Canadian forest when you're lost. I'm gonna tell you how you can eat good, you can stay healthy. Find a tree, any tree works really, has bark. As long as it just needs bark. That's how you say it in Canada, bark. Come up to the tree. Take your spoon, dig it on into that tree. Mmm. Oh, that looks good. That looks real good and just put it in your mouth. Mmm. Throw the rest on the ground, not too hungry. I think we're coming across some of the green lens over here. This is how this is how you uh you uh get water in the Canadian forest. You find trails like these. It's moist. Kind of like something else. But take your spoon, dig it on in. Start digging. See the dirt? There we go. Boom. Nice, moist dirt. Now, yes, you can't see the water, but if you eat this nice old dirt, you will be hydrated for weeks and weeks to come. I'm telling you guys, my name is Mr. Bro. I'm going to be teaching you guys survival in the wilderness. My next video will come when I figure out how to get out of... Uh, this Canadian forest. I'm actually fucking lost as hell. So once I can figure out how to get out of here, I will come out with my next video. Probably when I get stuck somewhere else. But until then, this has been Mr. Bro. In Canada up.